When you fry, broil, or barbecue meat, even if it's just slightly browned, there is a Maillard reaction, Maillard reaction, that can result in damaging advanced glycation end products. Uh, so this can happen with beef, pork, chicken, or fish. And in cheese, these are formed when it's aged. So there's not much in milk, but in hard cheese, yes, there's quite a bit of these advanced glycation end products. Uh, they increase brain inflammation. They attach to the rage receptor, receptor for advanced glycation end products is very aptly named the rage receptor, generate an estimate 50 times as many free radicals damaging and killing off brain cells compared to normal proteins. These AGEs can lodge in the amyloid plaque and stay there forever, showering your brain with radiation like free radical damage. Let's avoid them. Where are they found? Let's see. Chicken, bacon, beef, chicken, chicken, beef, chicken, chicken, beef, chicken, turkey, chicken. Okay, you get the idea. Now, these foods are not only sources of advanced glycation end products, and studies showing that these dietary advanced glycation end products, when eaten, about half are absorbed into the bloodstream where they're transported to the brain and damage it. It's also true that these same foods have organochlorine pesticides bioaccumulated, whether or not they're organic whether or not they're grass-fed. They have rancid oils from cooking, harming, which increases tremors, arachidonic acid, which increases inflammation and clogging of arteries and pain, endotoxins, which I mentioned, heterocyclic amines, which are highly carcinogenic, oxysterols, which I mentioned, plus that's oxidized cholesterol, excess saturated fat, of course, and lack of anti-inflammatory activity that you'll find in all of the healthy plant foods. Advanced glycation end products were two to three times higher in Alzheimer's brains and found to be probable causes of tau tangles. Now, tau tangles are more tightly correlated with these symptoms of Alzheimer's disease than are amyloid plaques. HADEPT reduced in our trial the dietary advanced glycation end products by limiting cooking methods, no barbecuing, broiling, or deep frying of meat, chicken, or fish, and no hard cheeses were allowed on our diet in there. This is difficult for people to do. We have a Neuroscience Nutrition Foundation. All of us worked for free during the years of doing this trial and for many years afterwards. And if you would like to go to neurosciencenutrition.org and give us a donation, we'd be duly grateful and continue our work. Thank you. Now, I wanna tell you more about how these amyloid plaques are formed. They're involved in about 80% of dementia cases. The clumps of protein occur between nerve cells and look like these fuzz balls in the picture. Also, there are tau tangles not shown that are phosphorylated tau, and they also contribute to it. Now, you see a cell membrane here, and beta and gamma secretase snip off the amyloid precursor protein, labeled APP here, to form the beta amyloid peptide. This peptide goes on to form oligomers, which are highly toxic and kill off brain cells. Then they become fibrils, also highly toxic. Then they lodge an amyloid plaque, which continue to be quietly toxic and house advanced vacation end products forever. Very difficult to get rid of these things. So let's see about how we can not form them. SAMe, s methionine, quenches the genes that make these gamma and beta secretase enzymes. So when we quench the genes, it results in lower amyloid beta production. And in this study in molecular neurobiology in 2018, they said thus preventing Alzheimer's disease. What they really meant was thus preventing the formation of amyloid beta and more amyloid plaques. Hard to get rid of the ones that are already there. They looked at people with Alzheimer's disease. They found severely low levels of SAMe in the cerebrospinal fluid and all brain regions in Alzheimer's patients.